And our mission is really to give uh, every child, every kid a, a chance to play sport, to be involved in physical activity, because we know um, so many kids are facing uh, many, many barriers. Ah, d'accord. Avant d'habiter au Canada, j'étais en Afrique, précisément euh, en Côte d'Ivoire. Et comme je voulais qu'ils euh, pratiquent un sport euh, du Canada, je leur avais proposé le hockey. When I'm on the ice, I feel free. I want them to at least be able to say they tried it and they were able to do it. Like everything's possible. That's what the opportunity to put on a pair of skates means. It's well beyond the game itself, and it's about giving those kids the opportunity to shine. Every day I get to, to see the difference that sport can have on families and kids. I had this, this chance to discover the world of sports, so now I'm able to give back, and hopefully uh, the kids can accomplish their dreams and then grow from, from this. It's time for a new era in sport. One that honors the brave. We wanted to create a space for them where they could come and feel comfortable. The bold. He really opened my eyes to having black people obviously in hockey and playing with them. The people that look different. I'm gonna get in a sled and see how far it goes. Blind hockey not just changed my life, in many ways saved it. This is a 12 part series about individuals and organizations who are determined to redefine hockey culture and to inspire a new and diverse generation of hockey fans. One day there's gonna be a little eight-year-old boy who's gonna look at the eight-year-old girl and say, you can play professional hockey too. Woo, let's go ladies! My name is Saroy Tinker. I'm a professional hockey player and philanthropist. And this is Breaking Down Barriers. Brought to you in part by Canadian Tire proud sponsor of Breaking Down Barriers. Kim St. Pierre embodies the word trailblazer. She's a three-time Olympic gold medalist, a five-time world champion, and in 2020 became the first female goaltender to be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. To present Kim her Hall of Fame plaque, her longtime teammate and 2017 inductee, Danielle Goyette. In closing, I'd like to express admiration for all the women in the sports world that are breaking barriers in so many different roles. We have the power to achieve anything. Write your own story and achieve your own version of greatness. Thank you. Well, my first okay. sport was figure skating, because being a girl, I, I wanted to be on the ice, so my parents uh, signed me up for figure skating. But every winter, my dad would build an um, ice rink in their backyard, and we had such fun. But pass. So I started loving the sport and I was, would always watch the Montreal Canadiens on TV. Uh, my dad used to play hockey as well and I grew up with two brothers. So for me, uh, it was just natural to get into hockey. My first season, I was a forward and right away early in my second season, I saw goalie equipment in the middle of the room and it was like magic. <laughs> But at first, being the only girl was kind of weird. <laughs> but I loved it so much, and it was a passion uh, for me. And thanks to my parents, they let me try it out. But then they were like, are you sure you want to get into this? Because, yeah, women's hockey, girls' hockey was not on TV. So there was no Olympics, no NHL for girls. Well, there was a lot of challenges being the only girl. I was starting to get better than some of the boys and making some double, double A or elite team. So, you get the reaction from so many parents and sometimes it was coaches that they didn't want to get into having a girl on the team. For sure they didn't like to lose to a girl <laughs> because yeah, hockey was only for the boys. I think I always played for the right reasons. I, I loved it. I just wanted to be the best goalie I, I could play. I wanted to play for the Montreal Canadiens. So I didn't play to be the only girl on the team. The rest is history, but uh, I loved it so much.
Oui, bonjour. Oui, alors pour les Today, Kim continues her legacy in the sport as a regional manager for Canadian Tire Jumpstart Charities. Founded in 2005, Jumpstart helps kids overcome financial and accessibility barriers to sport, enriching the lives of kids in need through physical activity. The thing about her is she contributes in so many different ways, right? She has lived experience as a female who trailblazed in the sport of hockey. And we can't ignore the fact that she was pushing barriers down before we were collectively trying to create more access for girls and young women and growing the game out of hockey. <laughs> that diversity of thinking that she brings to the team is, is just unparalleled. She's a national role model to so many girls and young women across the country. And we want to send the signal to girls and young women that yes, you can be like Kim. And we want Kim to be there saying, yes, you can be like me, and here's how we can get there together. Our mission is really to give every child, every kid, a, a chance to play sport, to be involved in physical activity, because we know um, so many kids are facing uh, many, many barriers. But with Jumpstart, I have this opportunity to help families, uh, help organizations with uh, usually a lot of barriers, socio-economic barriers or uh, so many other factors. Now we give them a chance to experience sport. In 2022, we had over 14,000 kids asking us if we could support them through hockey. Uh, that investment for us was well over $2 million just to, to help those kids participate in hockey programs across the country. Uh, so the number one thing people will say is it's very expensive to play hockey. But we also know that there are other barriers that are more socio-demographic in nature. We're also seeing um, barriers for a lot of racialized youth. Uh, who have a keen interest on accessing the sport. So if you ask new Canadians uh, what their kids want to play, they will immediately gravitate to hockey because they know it's a way to really embrace Canadian values and culture. And so not giving them the opportunity to embrace one of our national sports uh, at an early age creates an unnecessary barrier that limits their ability to really become fully contributing members of Canadian society in a way that also allows them to develop in fulsome and, and beneficial ways. This segment is brought to you by Canadian Tire. Les sous t'as assez de force là le retraité. If it wasn't for Jumpstart, I wouldn't have been able to do the program at all. Oh my God. Cinq six. Fait que on fait comment là? Tout le monde cinq? Tout le monde cinq? Placez vos sacs. Oh. Oh. No? Jusqu'au Bourg is a nonprofit that um, I started a year ago. Our mission technically is to allow all uh, newcomers um, to have access to sports, arts, and culture. The situation is that those families have a lot of kids. And I mean, putting one kid in sport is already expensive, but putting two, three, four is even more expensive. OK. T'as quel âge, toi? Mais ça s'écrit pas fait. Six ans! Est-ce que tu okay. viens de finir ta première année? Non. non. Même non. pas encore. Tu t'en vas en première année? Oui! Oui! Wow! Our season starts in September, ends in April. The parents have a cost of $100 for that. And um, we lend them the equipment for the season. So September to April, one hour of ice a week, 70 plus kids, every Sunday after church. <laughs> this is when you see the difference you make 
in this kid's life. Even if it's like minimal, that's where you see it. When the parent comes in or, and they're like, thank you, like, they're so happy. Or they drop them off and they're like, they were ready before I even, I was even in the car. You know, they were waiting for me. Yes, go Lori. Les mains sur le bâton, les deux mains sur le... Josh, c'est bon ça, c'est bon! Moi, je suis au Canada depuis euh, décembre 2021. Ah, d'accord. Avant d'habiter au Canada, j'étais en Afrique. Précisément euh, en Côte d'Ivoire. Tous mes enfants sont là. C'est mon épouse qui n'est pas encore arrivée. Mais elle sera là bientôt. Les enfants, ils aiment. Ils aiment le Canada. Ils apprennent de nouvelles choses. Ils sont heureux. Je crois que tout le monde est content d'être là au Canada. Les enfants, vous aimez ça, le Canada? Oui. Ouais, c'est cool. Ben lui, il vient d'arriver. Il, il a moins d'un mois au Canada. Okay. Il n'a jamais vu l'hiver encore? Non, non. Ils ont découvert le hockey lors... Euh, les enfants ont découvert le hockey lors d'une fête, euh, je crois, de l'arrondissement, où on avait toutes les, tous les organismes qui œuvraient pour, euh, dans l'arrondissement. Et donc, c'est comme ça qu'ils ont découvert le hockey. D'apprendre à patiner dans un premier temps, et ensuite, il y avait le sport lui-même en tant que tel. Quand j'ai rencontré, il était venu ici pendant peut-être trois ou quatre mois. Et je lui ai dit, « Oh, j'ai un programme de hockey. Tu veux que je mette tes enfants? » Et il m'a dit, « Oui, bien sûr. » Il m'a dit, « J'ai une fille et un fils. » Je lui ai dit, « Oui, tous. » Et quand j'ai dit, « Tous ?» Il m'a dit, « Tous ?»« Ok. »« Ça, c'est encore meilleur. » Ben, je le disais tantôt, le Canada, c'était mon pays des rêves. J'avais toujours voulu venir au Canada et je suis content d'y être. Ce, que, ce qui m'inquiétait plus, c'était l'hiver, mais je crois que je me suis habitué à l'hiver. Et la preuve, aujourd'hui, on fait des activités d'hiver comme le hockey pour les enfants et tout cela. Quand Alexandria nous a, a notre inscription pour, leur inscription pour le hockey a été validée, elle nous a donné tous les équipements, mais elle nous a envoyé également une vidéo YouTube qui montrait comment porter les équipements. Ouais. Ce n'était pas facile, mais on a dû l'apprendre. On a dû l'apprendre et puis, au fur et à mesure, c'est devenu normal pour eux, très facile pour eux de porter les équipements. Voilà, voilà. Il y a un peu de discipline, ça patinait longtemps dans les airs. Ouais, ça. Il y a moins de montant en tête tout le temps. Grâce au hockey, ils, ont, ils se sont fait de nouveaux amis. Mais beaucoup plus, euh, ils ont réussi à développer un certain, euh, une certaine résilience, une certaine combativité. Avant d'arriver au Canada, ils n'avaient aucune idée de la pratique du hockey. C'est au Canada qu'ils ont découvert le hockey et qu'ils ont appris à aimer le hockey. Et qu'ils veulent poursuivre, continuer à faire du hockey. Les filles, qu'est-ce qu'on a dit aujourd'hui? Qu'est-ce que je t'ai dit? En septembre, quand la saison, quand la saison va commencer, he's crying because Levy came to Montreal like uh, three weeks ago. So now, but his brother and his elder sister were both in the program since last year. So he just got here, but he absolutely wants to go on the ice. So we told him he can't go on the ice, but he could watch. But in September, when the program comes, he'll be able to skate with us. But ça veut, dire, ça veut dire que tu ne peux pas patiner aujourd'hui, mais en septembre, quand le programme va commencer, tu vas pouvoir patiner avec nous. Tu vas ça, Mathieu? Oh, oui, mais oui. mais tu, tu vas apprendre en septembre. I want them to come out of this really being like, I did that. You know, they're going to have that picture of them playing hockey. And because by the time they have kids, it's going to be like a natural thing. But I want them to at least be able to say they tried it and they were able to do it. Like everything's possible. Mon nom est Kim Saint-Pierre. 
ça me fait plaisir d'être avec vous aujourd'hui. Moi, en fait, j'ai été une joueuse de hockey. J'ai joué, j'ai joué pour Team Canada. Fait que j'ai eu la chance d'aller aux Olympiques trois fois. Maintenant, je travaille pour Bon Départ, Jumpstart. Et j'ai la chance d'aider les jeunes à faire du sport et de l'activité physique. Alors, c'est pour ça que je suis ici aujourd'hui. Aider Coach Gaston à faire la pratique avec vous. Donc, euh, amusez-vous. Je veux voir des sourires. Euh, je veux voir des jeunes qui travaillent fort. Et puis, on va devenir meilleur euh, à chaque fois qu'on met nos patins. With Alexandria's group, like you realize that there's so many barriers uh, that some kids are facing. Un, deux, trois! Yeah! They don't see it around them. They come for a country that they've never seen ice, have never been on ice. So uh, when you're able to, to help the kids discover or uh, bring them the equipment, bring them to the arena, get ice time. So you're, all the barriers that they're facing now, they don't exist anymore. And, when these kids look around the dressing room, everyone looks the same. So they sense that they belong here and they're uh, capable of becoming a hockey player. So uh, I think it makes a huge difference when uh, you break down all the barriers and then everyone can just go on the ice. They feel safe. They feel that it's a great environment for them. Woo! Actually, when I'm on the ice, I feel free. Free. Actually, with friends, teamwork, everything free. Mm, you can skate, you can play parks, everything, teamwork is all I, I feeling from all this hockey playing and everything. The program is actually a good opportunity for every little young kids who actually don't want then I have, don't have the chance. Uh, I believe that earlier you saw a little boy actually wanted, uh, he wanted so much, uh, he just got to Canada about a couple of weeks ago. And the fact that he saw the other kids playing and now he's crying, but he wants to play the game. You know what I mean? So this is one thing that I can say about this program. If you bring, no matter what ethnic people that you bring there, you're gonna get it's like they say, if you build it, they will come. Okay. If you give them a chance, you will see. And this is exactly what happened here with this program. Everywhere we go, we're always minorities. So when they walk in, they don't feel judged. They know everybody's approximately at the same level. Yeah, no, I know, they, I know that feels good. You know, when you look around and you're like, oh yeah. I see myself, <laughs> you know, like, this is good. Ah, c'est un bon programme, sérieusement, parce que les, moi, mes enfants, ils ont beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup d'énergie. Et puis, depuis qu'ils sont rentrés dans le programme, franchement, quand ils arrivent à la maison, un, ils sont attentifs à leurs effets, ils sont concentrés, et puis ils ont vraiment du plaisir. Et puis, franchement, avec ça, ça, ça leur empêche de faire des bêtises dans la rue. Parce qu'on connaît aujourd'hui, c'est pas facile. <laughs> okay, tout le monde. Est-ce que tout le monde? And they love it. Like, especially come from a country where there's only sun. So it's a chance for them to be in the culture, to see how it is a country. It's like a family, you know. And at the same time, for themselves, you know, to feel proud. They're proud, you know. They go, look at this. I can do this, you know. I can play hockey. Faut avoir de l'abnégation. Faut pouvoir persévérer. Et donc, ils ont fait des chutes pendant les pratiques, pendant trois, quatre séances. Et au fur et à mesure, ils ont commencé à trouver ça plus fun. They feel safe. It was incredible to see the smiles that the kids had. And even if they couldn't skate, they were so excited to wear all the equipment and make a pass to their teammates. What impressed me the most was how the kids were helping each other out. Like, you didn't have to tell them, go help Faye because she needs help. Like, Right away, someone would go, or it was just a sense of everyone is in this together, and they're having so much fun, and they're all going to get better. But it was incredible to see how uh, how, how much fun they had uh, all together. This côté là, go. On tourne les épaules. We're not creating NHL players. I always say that. Oh, I'm super proud of this.
super proud of them. But we're creating, you know, little skaters, people that are having fun. Let's go, Josh. Excellent. Tourne avec tes épaules, tu vas tourner dessus. Let's go, David! Ouais, ça c'est mieux, David. Good job! C'est beau, tourne tes épaules. Bon, OK, toujours en avant de okay. toi. Va-t'en à l'autre, David. OK, en avant. Doucement. Vas-y. Excellent. We have two kids now. Aiden is nine and Liam is 11 years old. I was so excited when they, they asked me to play hockey. My husband and I were uh, their coaches last year, so they were both made the same team. We were both coaches. I always tell the kids, either in the community, what, if, what organizations we're supporting with Jumpstart, or even kids at the elite level, is everyone can be a leader. Everyone can make a difference, no matter what your skills or abilities are. And uh, being the only girl on, on an all-boys team, I think you need to have confidence in yourself. You need to believe that you can do something. That's what we're talking about, using sport intentionally to give kids the opportunity to become the best version of themselves. It might mean making a friend group that they are going to carry on for the rest of their life. For others, it means being able to do better in school. For others, it means being able to just be healthy and well uh, and, and to overcome some of the mental health challenges that they may be facing at home or at school. So that's what the opportunity to put on a pair of skates means. It's well beyond the game itself, and it's about giving those kids the opportunity to shine. On les épaules. Oh, oui. When I see them come to me and it, you know give me, my, give me that high five or uh, that hug for the little ones, I know that we've done our job. We succeeded in what we wanted to do. Every day I get to, to see the difference that sport can have on families and kids to be involved in the community as well. It's a way of giving back. I had this chance to discover the world of sports, so now I'm able to give back, and hopefully the kids can accomplish their dreams and then grow from, from this. Let's go, babe! Let's go, babe! Wow. Let's go, babe! Let's go, babe! Let's go, babe! Bon, on pourrait... Hey, t'as réussi! High five! Ok, on va faire... C'est toi le goalie? On peut faire des virages brusques. Oui. 